Hi yogis, welcome to 30 Minutes Beginner Mobility Yoga Flow. I'm Mingwei, and today we will move through mobility drills to improve your posture and performance. So this class is suitable for all levels and you only need your mat. So let's begin by sitting in a comfortable position, palms on your knees, relax the shoulders, lengthen the spine, close your eyes, take five deep breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, calm your mind. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, deepen your breath. Exhale, lengthen your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently open your eyes. We'll move into a tabletop position. Palms and your knees on the ground. Palms underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Now we'll move in a clockwise rotation. So your knees and your palms stays at the same place. Shift your weight forward and then to the right, back and to the left. Again, we'll do five rotations clockwise. Do it slow. Make as big circle as you can as you move slowly. Don't forget your breathing while you're doing this. Inhale when you come forward, exhale when you go back. Switch the direction, anti-clockwise. So feel the weight distributing um, at your wrists, at the outside of your palms, and then to your fingertips when you lean forward. We're also loosening the shoulders and your hip joints. Back to center, a few rounds of cat and cow pose. Inhale, point the tailbone up, gaze up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone in, chin to your chest. Inhale, arch your back, gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round, bring the belly button in, gaze towards your navel. Inhale, Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to a neutral position. We'll bring the right knee out to the side. Draw a big circle with your knee and then bring it back close to your left knee. Inhale, open the right knee out to the right, send it back, and down. Draw five circles. Try to do it slow again. So when we do this um, mobility drills that open up the joints, try to do it slow and um, explore the different uh, levels that you can go into might notice I will switch the direction to the back, to the side, and down. You notice after a few rounds, it's easier to go into. And you try to go into a deeper, bigger circle. One more circle on the right, inhale to the right, and back. Inhale, straighten the right leg back. Exhale, step the right foot over to the left. Send the hips to the right. Bring the head to look towards the back toes from the left side. You feel the stretch and the lengthening of the right side of your body. Back leg is straight. Gaze back. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to center. Right knee to the ground. 
inhale, we'll send the left leg, uh, we'll bend the, lift the left knee, open up to the left, send it back, and down. Inhale, circle to the outside, back, and down, three. Four, visualize the movement in your left hip joint. Visualize the rotation. Switch the rotation, bring the knee back, open up to the side, and come down. Inhale back to the side and to center. Three. Four. Last one, five. Extend the left leg straight. Bring the left foot over to the right. Send the hips to the left. Gaze towards the right, towards the back toes. Tuck the left toes firmly on the ground. Extend the heel towards the back wall. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the left knee back to center. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Send the hips back, send the shoulders back. Lengthen the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Stay here for three more deep breaths. If you like, if your hamstrings are a little bit tight and you like to open it up, bend one knee and then the other. Pedal out the feet. Make sure you extend the heel towards the ground in a straight leg. And you press your rib cage towards the tie of the bent leg. All right, send both heels to the ground, downward facing dog. Inhale, send the right foot back and up. Exhale, draw the right knee into your chest. Place the right foot between your palms. Exhale, we'll send the back knee down, pawing the back toes. Inhale, we'll reach the right arm forward. Draw a big circle towards the ceiling and then reach back towards the toes and come down. Touch the mat, inhale, draw a big circle towards the back and down. Open up your shoulders. Explore how far your shoulder can open, how far your fingertips can reach. Now this time as we inhale, reach up, we'll send the hips back as well, straighten the front, the front leg. And then as we come down, exhale, we'll bring the hips forward again. Inhale, reach it up, slowly straighten the front leg as you move. Exhale, come forward, send the pelvic low. Inhale, reach up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, draw the right arm forward. Two more. Inhale, reach. Feel the stretch in every angle, at every angle in the right shoulder. And exhale, bring the right palm down. Tuck the back toes under. Inhale, lift the back foot. And place the back heel down. We'll rotate into a warrior two position. Stay in warrior two for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach the fingertips down towards the right foot. Gaze up towards the left thumb. We'll move through reverse triangle and triangle pose. Inhale, reach the arms up and back. Bring the left hand to the left knee, right arm up and back. Both legs maintain straight. Exhale, bring the right arm down. Side bend to the right, reach the left arm up. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reverse triangle. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to your right. 
inhale come up reach up and back exhale inhale back to center exhale trikonasana last one inhale reverse triangle now this time come to center and we'll move into half moon position balance on your right foot when you're ready kick the left leg up reach the right fingertips down to the ground back leg is straight left arm is up if you can find your balance shift your gaze up towards the left arm right leg is straight and engage five four three two and one we'll step the left foot back into skandasana on the left side so slowly bend your right leg reach the left foot back send the hips towards the left leg all right we'll shift left and right option to bring the fingertips down to support you or another option is to lift your arms up inhale shift the hips over and skandasana to the right inhale shift the hips over skandasana to the left one more inhale exhale skandasana to your right now from here i want you to do a bind you can first reach your right arm out to the side and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling pay attention your right tricep is in front of your right knee option to bind you will interlace your fingers or catch your wrists behind your left hip once you bind you try to straighten your left arm open the left shoulder rotate the torso to the left and gaze up towards the ceiling five four three two and one release the bind sit all the way down all right i'll rotate to look at you now this right heel is close to your right hip left leg is straight use your left hand to grab hold of your right ankle inhale the right arm up exhale side bend to the left reach your fingertips towards the toes now pay attention if you are doing this you are turning your face down towards your knees uh, get yourself back i don't want you to bring your torso to face down your chest should be facing and parallel to the front wall and reach your arms up some of us might be here it's totally fine keep reaching lengthening the side body and then eventually you want to bring your left shoulder as close towards your left thigh as possible fingertips reaching towards the toes do one more deep breath here inhale exhale inhale slowly come up and from here lift yourself up rotate to the front of your mat to the right side and then send your right leg back downward facing dog from downward facing dog Stay one more deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, we'll send the left leg back and up, exhale, we'll draw the left knee into your chest, step the left foot between your palms, right palm stays on the ground, left arm reaches forward and up and back and down, big circle, inhale, reach up back open the chest to the left and down inhale reach open the shoulder bring the left palm down now this time with your um, left leg stra uh, straighten so bring your back knee down point the back toes inhale straighten the front leg send the arm back exhale come forward with your hips inhale reach up and back straighten the front leg exhale reach the arm down send the pelvic forward deepen your stretch inhale straighten slowly move through the flow exhale come forward and down 
Inhale, reach, open, straighten the front leg. Exhale, come forward. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Bring the left palm down. Bring the right knee up, rotate the heel down. Your right toes are pointing towards the long side of your mat. Warrior two, we'll extend the arms out to the side. Make sure the shoulders are above your hips. Make sure your body is in a straight line, parallel to the front wall. Gaze towards the left fingertips. Three, two, and one. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, Trikonasana to the left. Extend the right arm up. Inhale, we'll move through reverse triangle and triangle pose. So reach the right palm to the right knee, left arm up and back. Exhale, come forward. Reach the fingertips down, right arm up. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, Trikonasana. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach back. Feel the side body stretch. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, slide the left palm down. Last one, inhale. Reach the right palm back, left arm back. Exhale, into half moon. Get ready, bend your front leg, reach your left fingertips forward, kick the right foot up. If you find your balance, slowly gaze up towards the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, and one will move into Skandasana on the right side. Bend the left knee, slowly with control, step the right foot down, Send the hips back into Skandasana. Option to bring your palms together at your heart center or fingertips to the ground if your heel is lifting. Now we'll move side to side. Inhale, send the hips over to the left, straighten the right leg. Now when you shift over to the right, keep the hips as low as you can. The lower you go, the deeper the stretch. Inhale to the front. And then exhale to the right. Last time, inhale. Send yourself Skandasana to the left. Straighten the right leg. Extend the left arm out to the side. Right arm up towards the ceiling. Make sure this left shoulder is in front of the left knee. Option to stay right here. If you like to go a little bit deeper, bend the left arm around the thigh. Bend the right arm, interlace your fingers behind the left hip. Rotate the shoulder to the back, straighten the right arm. Chest towards the ceiling. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release the bind. Gently sit down onto your back. Use your right hand to grab your left ankle. Inhale, the left arm up. Remember in a flat plane, slowly bring your right shoulder towards the right knee. Left arm reaching, reaching, reaching towards the right side. Stay wherever you are. Check your chest. Make sure you're not facing down, you're facing forward. Grab your toes if you like to. Breathe deeply. Breathe into your left armpit, your left body, your left hip. And then when you exhale, just release yourself towards the right. Allow yourself to become softer. One more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly reach the left arm up and back. Come back to center. Now inhale, lift your butt up, balance. 
This time we'll bring the right foot in, step the right foot in to a malasana. So both your toes are pointing out to the side, heels in. Um, your toes, your feet are in a 45 degree angle. Now bring your palms together to your heart center, elbows to your knees, press your knees away from each other, lengthen the spine. We'll stay here for five, four, pay attention to your breath, three, two, and one. Now from here, we'll continue some drill here. I will show you from the side. Inhale, we'll lift the hips until the hips are around the same height as the knees. And then exhale, sit down. So the elbows and the knees are staying together all the time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Four, lift. Exhale, down. Five, lift. Exhale, down. Six, lift. Exhale, down. Seven, lift. Exhale, down. Eight, lift. Exhale. Nine, lift. Exhale, down. Ten, lift. Exhale, down. Now stay in your malasana. Inhale. We'll lift the toes off the ground. And exhale, place your palms down. We'll come up to the toes and lift your heels up as high as you can. Inhale, send the heels down, toes up. Maybe the bottom of your feet is up as well. Exhale, palms down, toe, uh, heels up to your toes. Exhale down, lift the toes, shift your weight back into your heels. Exhale, shift forward into your toes, lift yourself up. Two more. Exhale, sit back, lift the toes. Exhale, come forward, lift the heels as high as you can. This is a good toe stretch as well. Last one, inhale, lift your toes. Exhale, come forward, lift the heels. And exhale, send the heels down, sit all the way down. Now when you sit down, your feet are still in front of you. Drop both knees over to the left side. So we're in the 90, 90 degree here. So you can adjust your feet a little bit. The left shin should be parallel to the front of your mat. The right shin should be parallel to the long side of your mat. And exhale, we'll rotate ourselves to face forward. Walk your hands forward towards the left leg. Maybe you can place your forearms in front of the left shin. Bring your chest towards the left calf. Or even walk your hands further away, forehead to the ground. Stay for five big breaths. Try to relax your shoulder blades. Inhale, lift the head. Slowly walk your hands to center. Turn yourself to the long side of your mat. Palms behind you. Now our heel will stay at the same place. We'll bring the knees, windshield wiper the knees. So to the right and left. Do a few rounds at your own pace. As long as it feels good. Now, all the way to your right. Now, adjust again, 1990. The right shin is parallel to the short side of the mat. The left shin is parallel to the long side of the mat. Square your hips towards the short side of the mat. Walk your hands forward. Maybe the forearms down first. Bring your chest towards your thigh. And maybe you like to go even deeper. Extend your arms all the way forward. Forehead to the ground. You may close your eyes, pay attention your, on your breath, lengthen and deepen your breath, at the same time soften your, mus soften your muscles around your body, 
Notice where you're feeling the tension. Might be at the back of your neck, at the back of your shoulders, or is it in your hips? One more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the head. Walk your hands back, back to center, your palms behind. Slowly rock your knees left and right. All right, bring the knees together. Slowly roll down onto your back. Bring the knees into your chest, hug the knees tight. Use your hands to grab your knees. We'll do knee circles here. So use your hands to draw the circles. So first you send your knees away to your right, back to your chest and to the left. So clockwise for five rounds. You feel your lower back getting massaged in this position. Now, anti-clockwise for five rounds. Try to do it slow, no rush here. Draw big circles. Now finally, bring your knees into a 90 degree. Extend both your arms out to the side. We'll drop both knees together to the right. Gently. Inhale, back to center. And then both knees to the left. Notice a good twist in your lower back. Inhale, back to center. Gently send it to the right. Slow and controlled. Inhale, back to center, and to your left. Last time on each side, inhale, back to center, exhale to your right. Inhale, back to center, exhale to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your knees into your chest one last time, and exhale. Extend your legs straight, toes pointing out to the sides. Bring your arms alongside your body, palms facing up. Close your eyes. We're going to Shavasana. I'll guide you in your Shavasana to relax your entire body. Simply stay still throughout the Shavasana. Only your awareness is moving around the body. Starting from your toes, relax your toes, the ankles. Relax your calf muscles, your kneecaps. Let go of the thigh bone, allow it to sink to the ground. Let go of the hip joints, your pelvic. Relax your entire spine on the ground. Soften the belly, the chest, the collarbone. Relax the shoulders, the upper arm. Forearm, palms, and your fingertips. Allow your throat to melt in your neck. Relax any tension at the back of your neck, at the back of your ears. Soften the lips, soften the tongue. Relax the nose, cheeks. Eyes, eyebrows, forehead, and the crown of your head. Allow your physical body to sink deeper and deeper into the ground. Stay here for one more minute.
Now when you're ready to wake up, slowly wiggle your toes, slowly wiggle your fingers, rock your head, side to side, wake up the back, join your feet together, reach the arms above head, take a deep breath in and stretch the body long, exhale, relax, bend your knees, roll over to one side of your body, Stay for a while and when you're ready, slowly push and lift yourself up into a seated position. Now bring your palms together to rub as fast as you can. Create some warmth in your palms. Now bring your palms to cover your eyes. Release the palms to your heart center. Gently open your eyes. Thank you for joining me for practice today. I'm Mingwei. I'll see you on your mat next time. Namaste.